Hey, thanks for joining me. As you can see, it's still really windy here in the desert. And even if you took precautions to protect your plants, you still might have had some that got damaged. But don't worry, it's not all lost. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save a tomato plant that's been damaged by the wind. This is In the Garden. really easy to save your tomato plants even if they've been broken in the wind. Tomatoes are really resilient and they actually have the ability to grow new roots on a broken stem. So this is a really easy fix so don't get frustrated if your tomatoes get damaged in the wind. The plant that I'm going to be showing you an example of actually has a broken side stem. It's not the main stem that got broken over so when I re-root that new stem it's actually going to grow a whole new tomato plant that I can plant in my garden. That's also known as cloning. And it's a way that people take one tomato plant and actually can turn it into multiple plants in their garden and produce a lot more tomatoes. As I said, it's really easy and there's several different ways you can do it, but it's really windy out here. So I'm gonna show you how to trim off this stem and then we're gonna head inside. As you can see that this tomato plant right here has been damaged by the wind and it actually snapped off one of the side stems. And that's the one we're gonna use for this example to show you how you could save it. Even though this was off the side, this would still work just the same even if this had been the main stem of the tomato plant. The first thing you're gonna do is trim off the broken stem below where the break is. So on this one, I'm gonna trim it down below where the break was at. Now, let's head inside. Now we're inside, you can see I have my cutting that I cut off the plant out there, and I'm gonna show you what to do to get it to grow new roots. The first thing you need to do is this broken part at the bottom, you need to make sure that's all cut off, so that, just so you don't have pieces of plant that aren't gonna grow, they're gonna die. So you're gonna cut it above wherever the damage is, and you're also gonna cut off the lowest leaves. You just wanna keep the highest leaves on the plant to, to grow the new plant. Now, as you can see, it's really wilted over. It's having a lot of trouble. That's because it's been detached from the plant and it hasn't been getting any water. So what we're gonna do to get it to start growing again is just take a cup or a glass or a vase, whatever you have around, fill it with water and just put the tomato plant into it. If you leave it in there for a couple of days, it'll start to grow new roots. You'll see it start perking back up right away and then you'll see new roots starting to grow. Once the roots start to grow, it's ready to go into the dirt. But if you would rather do that than this, if your plant isn't really hard looking like this, where it's really rough, you can actually plant it right into your garden, straight back into the dirt as soon as you finish cutting it. I like to put them into water because it gives it a lot of water and gets it back to like a vibrant state before you put it into the soil. But you can plant them directly back into soil and they will grow new roots and grow that way as well. Typically what I'll do is leave them in the water for several days until I start to see new roots grow. And as soon as I see a root starting to grow maybe a half an inch long, that's when I'll put them into the water, into the soil. This plant I've actually had in water for a couple of weeks and I did this just so that I could show you the roots growing on it. You could probably see there's a lot of roots growing on this plant. So this is beyond where it needs to be to be planted outside, but this is still okay. You can see how well it's doing. Just been sitting in this glass of water for several weeks. When you go to put your cutting outside, you're gonna plant it exactly the same way that you would a regular tomato plant. So if you don't know how to plant a tomato, go back and watch my video where I show you how to plant tomatoes in your garden. You also wanna make sure that you harden off your cutting before putting it back outside. If you start in a glass of water and let it get roots, it's gonna start getting accustomed to being inside and being in like that super nice environment. So you're gonna to wanna to harden it off again before you put it outside. It shouldn't take as much work to get it ready for outside as it would a brand new seedling, but you still wanna do that to make sure that it's gonna be able to thrive the best in your garden. The piece of the broken stem that you cut off and all the extra leaves that you cut off, those can all go into your compost. And if you don't know how to compost, make sure you watch my video where I show you how to get started quickly with composting. So the two ways that you can easily save your tomato plants is by putting the cuttings into a jar of water and waiting for roots to grow and then transplanting outside, or you can put it directly into the soil outside and let it start growing that way. Either way is great and either way is gonna save your plant. And if you do this on plants like I did where it was just the side stem, I'm actually gonna get a whole brand new tomato plant from that cutting. And if it was the main stem that comes off, you can save your tomato and keep it keep from losing the entire plant. Thanks for watching. If you got something from this video, make sure you hit that like button. 
And if you want to get more content like this to help you be successful in your backyard garden, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest videos. And click the bell so you can turn on notifications. Have a good one.